Hey, we're back, and we've got our spark testing machine uh, ready to fire up for you guys. Uh, this is something we built here in the shop. It started out as a small project, something we could just do a simple spark test with, and it kind of grew into a, you know, a major, uh, a major electrical system. It's actually uh, exactly like the Harley electrical system with a with a point type ignition. I'll point out some things here to you, and. Um, as, uh, as you can see here, we've got you know, four screws that we can adjust in or out to check the, the, uh, the air gap with to see how much spark actually you know, these coils will put out. Uh, this setup here is, is a, a dual plug simulation. Uh, as you can see, we've got you know, four spark plug wires. This is our, our patented wire kit. Um, we're using a six volt uh, Harley replacement coil. And uh, right here, we have an ignition resistor so that we can match the loop resistance with the original 12-volt system. Uh, this, is the, this is a 12-volt battery, kind of a miniature. And um, over here, we have uh, a little battery charger, which you, you, you could call the, uh, the alternator, in effect. This is, uh, this is a little rheostat I stuck on the thing later to see if we could get some variance in speed. But as it turned out, this motor is a high RPM low torque motor and it really won't it won't turn uh, you know won't turn the lower rpms like i had hoped it would uh, this is your uh, regular everyday harley uh, single point ignition system with the you know, with the points and the condenser uh, this is your your ignition switch or our ignition switch uh, just just a simple off on type switch uh, we also have a tachometer here we're going to show you guys uh, we're going to stick it on there and at least we can tell you what it's doing. Uh, this machine is kind of noisy, so uh, and when I fire it up, I'll try to speak up over it, and maybe you can hear me. Here, we're going to give it a try now. Just keep the camera rolling. I'm going to let her rip. There we go. Okay, here's our Harley tachometer. We're going to stick this thing on here, and I'll show you what, it, what this thing is, is turning. As you can see, it's turning up at, uh, about 7,000 RPMs right now. And uh, as we remove it from the motor, uh, the, the, the uh, motor will actually accelerate probably up, up in the uh, 8,000 RPM range. At this high RPM, the dwell is kind of low. It really doesn't give us quite the spark efficiency that, that we uh, would like to have on it. And this is the, the Rio stat, as you can see, it, it, it uh, changes the RPM, but it won't maintain a low RPM. It kind of stutters, you know, it either wants to stop or start. It either wants to go on full blast or, you know. I'm going to shut the thing off here for a minute and uh, we'll be right back with you. We like to play with this thing, it's really fun. Uh, for example, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a couple of changes and I'll show you exactly what, uh, you know, what this thing will do. These, these six volt coils, when you give them 12 volts, they'll put out a 30,000 volts. And uh, we're gonna show you a little bit about how we, uh, how we arrive at that conclusion. As you can see, we've got an air gap here. I don't wanna put my ruler down there too close, but this, this trying to bite me now. I think it's trying to bite me. It wants, it wants me really bad. It wants me really bad. But we're actually looking at about 15,000 right there. I'm going to shut it down. You can just let the camera roll. I'm going to make a couple of tests while the camera's rolling. As you can, that thing is really loud, isn't it? Okay, what I want to do now is show you what it looks like, what this six volt coil looks like on a single plug setup. We'll actually have twice the voltage here that we had with the dual plug setup. Every time you add another spark plug, it cuts the voltage in half at the, at the, at the spark plug. So uh, I'm going to fire it up again and uh, give, you an, give you guys an idea of what this thing will do. Come on, baby. Fire up. We're going to turn this one here on the right side down to a normal, what you would call a in the ballpark gap for, uh, for your motorcycle. 
And then we're going to turn this last one up and show you, some, give you some kind of an idea what kind of voltage this little uh, six volt coil will actually put out. This thing is unbelievable. Look at that. I got the screw all the way out and it's still, it's still firing. We got about, uh, we got over. I just wanted, wanted you to get a good focus on this reel just to show you what kind of gap we got here. We're running a little over an inch, which is uh, right at 15,000, uh, excuse me, in this case, right at about 30, a little over 30,000 volts. That's what this 6 volt coil is capable of putting out. about it right about there. That's about 30,000 for each spark plug on a two on a two plug system. Now I'm going to shut it off and hook up hook the four plugs up. And we're not going to lose all that much. We might lose a little bit. We're not going to lose that much. Here we go. We're going to hook up the other two plugs. We've tested a lot of people's coils and uh, we know what just about everybody's stuff does. That's how we figured out what we were going to package in our, our uh, uh, ignition kit. We had to test all the people's coils and uh, you know find out who was who was bullshitting and who wasn't. You know just exactly what was uh, what the truth was. We get down to the bare facts here. Here we go. We're going to fire it up. There you go, guys. There's all your four, four star plugs firing. We've got, uh, we've got an easy 15,000 volts. No problem there. motor bogged down a little bit. It bogged down when we took this thing on it. And as you can see with the motor bogged down, it's turning over 7,000 RPMs right now. To pull the motor off, maybe you can hear the RPM rise. I'll pull the tack off. Just a second, let me see if I can get this tack to come back up in the 7,000 range. There you go. It picked up at least another 1,000 RPM. Like I said, we'd like to be testing this thing down in a little lower RPM range because that's where the spark is a little more efficient. But you can see at the higher, up in the higher rev area, these things work great. We're really, uh, we're really pleased with them, and uh, you know we can take this thing out to to uh, show a lot of people what these uh, what these systems are capable of doing.